We're just hanging out in the sugar bush today and we thought we'd bring you along on an experiment that we're going to do. Normally when you're tapping trees, the minimum diameter that you want for the tree would be 30 centimeters. If you want to put two taps in the tree, the tree should be 45 centimeters. And once you get to 60 centimeters diameter, then you can start putting three taps in a tree. However, we have a couple trees here that are pretty much dead and we're going to be cutting them down this summer. So we thought we'd put maybe a couple more. For instance, this tree. If you were to look up, you would notice that this tree is basically dead. There's a couple living branches on it. So there's still going to be sugar being shot up from the roots to those branches. So we thought, hey, if we're gonna kill it anyways, how about we put as many tops as we possibly can on the sunny side of the tree and just see how much syrup we can get out of it. That led us to this little contraption, this octopus of a tree, let's just call it. We have this tubing that we put on our taps. We just have the regular taps, so we bought a thicker tubing to fit over them. And they're all feeding into this one five gallon bucket. As you can see, they're already flowing. So this tree is still alive. It's on its last legs, but it's still alive. And so we're gonna see how much syrup we get out of just this one tree. And here's another tree that we'll be thinning out this year. It is also already on its last legs out. We set this up a little bit differently. We have four taps on it, it's a smaller tree. And then so we just have buckets, two taps per bucket because we couldn't fit four here. And some redneck uh, lids here. Another part about taking these dying or almost dead trees out is allowing for more light to open up the canopy so we can let these smaller maples grow and they can be part of our sugar bush at some point. In order to determine the diameter of a tree, it's not as easy as just looking at it. So you can get the circumference and then get the diameter from that, or you can get a DBH tape, which is a diameter at breast height. Either way you want to do this at about breast height. And since I'm on, standing on a whole bunch of snow, I would say that's about here, a little bit lower. I'm going to wrap my normal measuring tape around. And it is 98 centimeters. The circumference of a circle is two times pi times the radius. And so two times the radius is the diameter and pi is 3.14 and some numbers, you can just approximate the diameter by dividing that by three. So three goes into 98 about 33 times. And so this one is big enough for just one tap. It's actually handy that we have this uh, redneck lid here because you can also use a dinner plate as a reference of a size that's big enough for one tap. So here's an example of a tree that's obviously too small to tap. However, this one is also on its way out. So in order to make some more room in here for the other trees to grow, we're gonna put a single tap in this and just see how it does. So if you have any trees in your sugar bush that look like they need to come down, don't be afraid to cut them down. It will give more light and space to let your other trees do so much better. Throw a bunch of taps in them in the year that you're cutting them down and do this experiment with us. It'll be fun to see what comes out of it and you won't feel bad about having extra maple syrup, that's for sure. <laughs>